Shoppers, I have an amazing surprise for you. This is Amber Tiana. Isn't she beautiful? Even more than that, she's a sweet friend. I first met Amber when we went on a ghost hunting trip on the Queen Mary. She also tells me she can't cook for shit. <laughs> oh, God, it's true. I watched her the other day on Live Me where she actually has the most fans. She made a smoothie for breakfast, so she's pretty good with the smoothie machine. Oh, yeah. I can press buttons. I bet you can. <clears throat> is that a pepper? Those are three different kinds of peppers. Ah, they're all peppers, all three of them. I'm assuming they taste different because they're different colors. That's what they tell me. I don't fucking like them. Does this much shit scare you? There's a lot of colors. I've been snooping on you. Live me snooping. Okay. Sorry. And I've heard you say that you really like vegetables. I do. And you don't like meat that much. I don't. And you drink almond milk, which I asked you to bring yourself. I did. And you have no idea why you brought it. None. We are going to make breakfast. I love breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You absolutely need fuel to get your day moving and get your brain in gear. Turn up. Is that a young person saying? Yeah, turn up like. Being as Amber can't cook for shit, I'm gonna give you basic, basic, basic cooking lessons. Even though you can't stay all the way till this is finished, mm -hmm. the twins are coming over later and they always like to eat whatever we cook. Well, you're welcome, guys. Please put your hair up because you don't want hair in your food. Oh, there's, there's quite a bit of hair, okay. You really don't need to have a bunch of shit in your kitchen. Oh, that's good, because I'm broke. So, inner tubers, what I decided Amber could make was hash brown confetti breakfast muffins. <sighs> that sounds fun. It's gonna be awesome. Look, here we have confetti. Confetti is multiple colors, right? Yes. We have zucchini and yellow squash. We have some pepper, which you're gonna cut up. And we have some more zucchini. I cut some up, but you're gonna have, learn how to do this. Okay. Frozen spinach. Frozen spinach is the key to everything. Half a dozen eggs, two cups of milk, and some olives if you like them. Oh, I love to hate olives. I don't like them either. But we need them for confetti. We'll put them on for the twins because one of them likes them, I think. Hand me the muffin tin. The muffin tin, dear. So this is a muffin tin. We made our meatloaf muffins in this, motherfuckers. Meatloaf muffins, motherfuckers! You need a whisk. You can make do with a fork, but you really need a whisk. Okay. This isn't very expensive, and you got a muffin tin. Mm -hmm. You got a measure cup. Yes. If you don't have pretty bowls like I have for my YouTube videos and my Facebook videos, put your shit in coffee cups. I don't care. That's a knife. That's a big ass knife. Granny is famous for her purple big ass knife. That's great. You hold it with such just confidence. Confidence. Fuck yeah. <sighs> a spoon for putting the shit in the muffin tins. That's helpful. Let's clear this shit out and start with step one. I'm ready. We're gonna grease this shit up. Do you know how to grease it up? Hell yeah! Really? Well, I've seen the movie. Grease? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how to grease this. It's like a spray thing, like pan. Like you just go in. No, we're gonna do this old school. Amber, your very best tool for greasing up the muffin tin is a paper towel. And you just fold it in half, and then in thirds, and then in thirds. So it's about the size of a makeup applicator. And if you don't have paper towels, you could use a makeup applicator. Please tell me you have paper towels in your house. <laughs> I actually don't have paper towels right now, but I do have makeup wipes. So we, I could still not do- Not a wipe, not a makeup wipe. No, the applicator, the clean applicator. Uh, oh it. girl, this okay. is gonna be a long cooking school. You really are basic, huh? I'm telling you, AF. AF, okay. This is oil. There's only a little bit left. You only need a little bit. Like a lot of things in life, you can make do with just a little bit. So rub that around. All right, just like in the, the bottom and the sides, like. Yep. Ugh. Get get after it. All right. Okay. All right. Get in there. Ooh, greasing up. Did I do that right? Is that the full? Let's get some more on there. All right. So it's kind of like suntan oil. You do not need to be swimming in it. You just need to be able to go swimming in it. And the purpose of this is to make sure that the shit doesn't stick to the edges. Even though this is supposedly a non-stick cookware, by the time you combine eggs and potatoes, you've got a formula for sticking up. You know what you do with this afterwards? Yes, we recycle it. Just throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. I've actually never done that before. We're going to break the eggs into a bowl or a big measure cup. I always like to go big. You can always recover. If it's too big, if it's too small, you're fucked. 
It's a matter of perspective. Do you know how to break eggs? Yes. So Did you wash your hands? Yes. All right, you may go. I mean, maybe I should do it again just in case, you know? All right. Amber, that right there is the number one reason to have paper towels. That's a good reason. Wipe your hands. Just like when you go potty in a restaurant. Oh my gosh, the pressure. Ooh, -hoo! you're a one-handed egger. Well, just for the first one, because I want to show off, but it might not stay that way. We'll see. <laughs> oh, oh, no shell. <laughs> Wish them around. Whoosh. You've never used a whisk, right? I've never used a whisk. Do you see how much simpler it is than a fork? Oh my gosh, actually, that is, it just kind of like melted in together. Centrifugal fork. <laughs> That's so much better than the noise of that fucking green bean casserole. I feel like I'm making a science project for the kids. You have your almond milk? I do. What's our measure here? Eight ounces. Eight ounces. One cup. Okay, this is what, so one cup. So this is two cups. So we, we only want one cup of milk. Okay. Ooh. Amber's on it. Stir that shit around. Oh, word. This is a bag of hash brown potatoes. Oh, see this I understand. This I've used before. Two. Big handfuls. Two big handfuls. And where do I put them? Right in there. Okay. So I like grab like this is good. That's one. Okay, one. And another. It's a little thin. Let's go for one more handful of potatoes. How generous were you? Pretty generous. I'm a generous person. Should I be more generous? A little more generous. A little more generous? I can do that. Bam! I do it right. Emerald. But isn't that a shot? Yeah. Yeah, but we can't take his trademark phrase. Do you have a trademark phrase? Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the tits. Mega tits! This is some zucchini and yellow squash that I spiralized already. And I want you to go super ninja on it. Uh, the dance moves are optional. I've been on the squash making breakfast with Granny. Everybody know that I go, I like that. Ham and cheese, hey, they, we make confetti. We doing it all day. And afterwards, we gonna have leftovers for tomorrow, babe. Fuck yeah! That's why I watch her unlike me. I don't get that shit at all, but I get her energy. That positivity, how can you not be just joyful after that? Now, pour that shit in here. Okay. Another lesson, this is why I like to buy flexible chopping mats. In the interest of time, Amber, I'm gonna cut this shit for you. Ninja, ninja. Pull them down, girl, pull them down. Ba -ba -ba. Yes. Ba -ba. You can see how everything is cut very small, because you want everything to cook at about the same doneness. And if things are too big, they won't cook to the same degree that other things will. So we have the egg and the milk to hold it all together. Mm -hmm. We've got the hash browns. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, yeah. with just a little bit of time. You want to add some frozen spinach? Fuck yes. Give me that bowl. Mm. Sprinkle that shit in there. Oh my God, doesn't that look beautiful? It looks amazing. I think there's a variation of this in my upcoming cookbook. <gasps> oh, my fastest fun cookbook, which is coming out in October. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Salt and pepper? You want salt and pepper? Oh yeah, let's do that. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Is that enough? How much salt goes into this? Pepper go. Peppers a go? Oh, peppers, peppers, peppers. Oh, peppers a go. I'm gonna hold this up here. So like a little bit, or is that pretty okay? A little bit more. A little bit more. Little tiny bit more. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's it, inner tubers. Now, Amber is a little bit lactose intolerant, so we didn't put cheese in them. You can put whatever the fuck you want. Amber, do you remember my soup video? Yes, I do. Well, the same thing applies to your confetti hash brown muffins. If you like it, it goes in. If not, fuck it. And now you have 12 servings of breakfast. We're gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees and they'll cook for about 40 minutes. You can tell when they start to get crusty on the top that's when they're done. You don't eat them the minute they come out of the oven because they need to settle just for a little bit. How long? 15 minutes. So that's it, Intertubers. Amber has to go. She could only come for a short cooking lesson. I'm gonna cook these up and the boys are gonna eat them later. Thank you, Granny. You're so welcome. Oh. You're such a treat. Oh. So here's the deal. You have to follow Amber Tiana on Instagram and on Live Me. Yes. And she has a YouTube channel Hi. and she's gonna do more with it. I am. And you have to, of course, follow me on the Facebook and hit the like and share this shit everywhere because this is fucking delicious. <laughs> Granny loves you. Oh, I love you too.
Two is gonna cost you. Fuck yeah. People say I cuss too much, but I don't.